Hi guys, welcome back to our mathematics tutorial. See this problem. Y is equal to. Huh. How can we read it? Sine of x. Um, back exponent. So we are familiar with x raised to the power 3. That is x times x times x, right? x raised to the power 4 is x times x times x times x. So what if it was x back, back power 4? So this means x raised to the power x raised to the power x raised to the power x. It means x is raised to itself four times. That's exactly what it means. So there's a difference between this one and this one. I don't know how to really call this, whether I should say a back exponent or back power or something else. So how can we solve this particular problem? Sine of x raised to the back power of three. So let's go ahead, let's solve this problem. It's very easy, you know, very, very easy. It's very easy. So the first thing, let's rewrite this problem as y equals to sine of x raised to sine of x raised to sine of x. Is exactly what, 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 what it means. This sine of x is a base, right? So it's almost like these two expressions. This, this, these two expressions, they are like the power to the sine of x. So again, you cannot use the power rule to say you bring this one down. No, you don't do that. You must get rid of this power and only be left with the base. So to do that, we take the ln on both sides. ln of y equals to ln of sine of x raised to the power sine of x raised to the power sine of x. So it means this entire power will just come down. So we have ln of y is equal to what? Sine of x raised to the power sine of x. Ln of sine of x. So now what do we do? What do, we, do? we differentiate. But in differentiating, we have this case again to deal with so we must first know the derivative of this expression so if we were to separate it from this entire problem and just just do it on this side we could say let t equals to sine of x raised to the power sine of x so we take the ln on both sides ln of t is equal to ln of sine of x all raised to the power sine of x. So what happens? This x, this sine of x will be dropped. So you have ln of t is equals to sine of x times ln of sine of x. So we have we can now find the derivative of it. It's one over t times t prime because t is the name of the function, this function or equals now you have this function times this function so we can use the product rule we hold sine of x and we differentiate ln of sine of x so this is one over sine of x times the derivative of sine of x which is just cos of x plus we hold ln of sine of x now and then we differentiate this sine of x we get cos of x. So this sine of x can cancel this one. So we'll be left with t. Now this t can be can be multiplied by this expression, right? So it's t prime equals to t. Let's put it in bracket like this. This is now cos of x plus this is cos of x. So we see that cos of x and cos of x, so we can just factor out cos of x. So if cos of x is factored out, you have cos of x times 1 plus 
ln of sine of x. So just use this like this. Just use this. Now, but let's simplify this thing further. I just like I just like the problem to be simplified further. So if we simplify this further, we know that we know that the ln of e is equal to one, right? So this one can just be the ln of e. So if this is the ln of e, it means that we will have t. Now this t now we know that. T is equal to this, so it's now sine of x raised to the power sine of x. So this cos of x now, cos of x. So this one, right? This one is ln of e. Sorry. One is ln of e plus ln of sine of x. So ln of ln of a plus ln of b is equal to ln of a b or a times b ln of a times b so we can say ln of e sine of x so we just rewrite this so that would be ln of e sine of x Right? So this is what now we're going to replace within this expression. So this sine of x raised to the power sine of x is just equal to this expression. So let's go upward. So now we have the ln of y. We're differentiating now. We have 1 over y times the derivative of y, which is just y prime equals. So this one gives us this entire expression, which is now sine of x raised to the power sine of x times cos of x, the ln of e sine of x. Then, now remember, there are two functions here. So we differentiating this one, we hold on to this expression. So we hold on to this, which is ln of sine of x then we can differentiate the second one now so since we differentiated this first we can now differentiate this so we hold on to this so we have plus sine of x raised to the power sine of x times the derivative of this ln of sine of x which is 1 over sine of x times the derivative of sine of x now, which is just cos of x. So let's simplify further. Now I'm going to I'm going to simplify this problem further in some compact form. So this is y prime. Remember this y can be multiplied by this expression. But let's first simplify. So we have y prime all over y is equals. So what do we do? Can we bring this on this side? Yes, sure, we, we, can, we can do that. Okay, so we have sine of x raised to the power sine of x. So this is just cos of x ln of e sine of x times, times ln of sine of x. So we can now multiply these two because they are not the same. And then plus, so cos of x over sine of x is just equal to um, cot of x. So this, this is now cot of x. And we have sine of x or raised to the power sine of x. So we call this our final answer. But we need to replace this y. So if we cross multiply, this y comes on this side. So we're going to have y prime to be y prime to be equal to y so this y now is just that expression so we can we just want to rewrite it like that or we can we can rewrite it like the way we did so we can either say y prime now is equal to sine of x 
raised to the power sine of x raised to the power sine of x or we just say sine of x raised to the third power right right here like this the back power this can also be expressed as um let's see you have a how do you call this can we how we going to do it but, so it's like it's like it's like having 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 strokes to represent this this expression that's just that's just what i wanted to see so we represent stroke like this stroke to represent to show that this is the power right so now we have let's continue we have this to be cos of x ln of e raised to the power let's say e times sine of x ln of sine of x then plus cot of x sine of x or raised to the power sine of x so this is actually our final answer Honestly, this this is just a problem that I just I just designed. I I just designed it. Um, so so you can practice this one. You can practice this one as well and see how 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 it works. But it's very easy. So this is how we do um, this kind of is a back back power. This is how we deal with these kind of back power problems. So remember when the power is like is is waiting on this side of the expression it indicates that that expression is raised to that power not that expression raised to the number of times it's being expressed no but that expression is is raised to itself the number of times so if it was t and then you have two here it means t raised to t if it was cos of x and then you have two here it means cos of x raised to cos of x so take note of that so thanks ever so much for watching and i'll see you in our next lecture thank you